Hi guys, welcome! My name is Deanna and I am a Lego Harry Potter fanatic. <laughs> Today, we are going to be reviewing The Rise of Voldemort. I don't know if you've seen it already, but my last review was actually on the Clock Tower, which was really heavily Goblet of Fire, so I really wanted to do this little guy. Also, I didn't have much time this week. This was only $19.95, and it's 184 pieces, so it was a super quick build. It took me about 20 minutes total to do, and it was awesome. Check this guy out. Oh. I just put it on this little thing so it's easier for me to hold so that you can see it kind of a thing. But it comes with Peter Pettigrew, Lord Voldemort, Harry, and just a random Death Eater. It didn't tell us which Death Eater. One of the coolest things about this is this whole piece moves. So Voldemort actually goes underneath there and it's set up like this. If you remember from the Goblet of Fire movie or from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the book, the graveyard scene is actually how Lord Voldemort gets his body back because previously to this, he's actually just been sharing bodies with like Professor Quirrell or he's been like this shapeless thing. Kind of hard. You have to read the books to really, really understand why Voldemort doesn't have a body. But Lord Voldemort's real name is Tom Riddle and so is his father. That's why the graveyard scene is so important. They need the bones of his father to actually return him back to a body. It also looks really old and decrepit, which I really like with these vines and just the random greenery. And look at how cool the headstone Aww. is, right? Very menacing. And again, in the movie, they actually have Harry trapped there so that he can't get away while Peter Pettigrew is doing everything. I'm going to take this apart just a little bit so you can see something. So this cauldron is where the bones of the father, the blood of the villain, and that's actually the little teeny weeny essence of what Lord Vortimer was or is until he gets his body back. And that's kind of adorable that they include it. There's also these little bones that they include as well, right? Super, super cute. Oh, that was some blood. That is the Triwizard Cup, oh. which if you remember correctly, was turned into a porky so that Cedric and Harry get transformed to the graveyard scene. It wasn't actually meant for both of them. It was meant for Harry because fake Moody is running around behind the maze, killing everyone so that Harry can make it because this was indeed turned to a porky because Harry is of course the final ingredient so that Lord Voldemort can get his body back. It's actually the blood of Harry that makes him whole again, if you will. But yeah, super cute little set, um, incredibly accurate to both book and movie, which if you know me, you know I'm a stickler for my Harry Potter Legos being <laughs> accurate. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself sometimes. But yeah, the Lego's killing it again. Really cool little set. These components move so that it looks more decrepit. Like I said before, Voldemort goes in and out. Super, super easy. No big deal. We do get Peter Pettigrew for the first time. Obviously, we get Lord Voldemort for the first time. Like I said, it is his first time having his body back. So that's really cool. And there's even just little cutesy details. Like that's a teeny weeny little frog there. <laughs> And that's the Deathly Hollows, which isn't in play yet, but obviously will eventually become in play for Harry Potter. And yeah, just super, super easy set. I hope you get a chance to build it. Uh, link down below for my build of it. It's, you know, sped up, but no big deal. It took no time whatsoever, and you don't need to speed it up to do it yourself. It'll be great. So, hope you have a great night. Thank you so much for listening. My name is Deanna, and I am a Lego Harry Potter fanatic. Thank you!